can you tell us about your son? Well, basically he had some problems with the law, I guess. Um, had a felony charge on him from Atlanta, Georgia. Plus he was going through some mental problems that uh, we just got him out of Arroyo uh, some months ago. But he's been going through a lot of mental conditions. And actually he ran away from home and I think that he moved in with uh, Mrs. Casey, which has passed away this morning as well. And what do you think his relation to that was? Do you think he uh, was that involved was his with girlfriend. Her? Do you think he was involved with her death? I'm not exactly sure. I really don't know that. Went from Augusta to Batesburg. Why would he have stopped in Aiken? I have no clue. One thing that I know that when I came home from work yesterday, um, he came by and picked up my car and um, without permission, basically. And uh, he left, and I don't know where he was. So my other son, Brandon Jones, we, uh, we went riding around looking for him, but we couldn't find him around in North Augusta. What brought you here tonight? Well, I came here because of uh, my condolence for uh, Master um, Sergeant Rogers and Casey is, uh, as well has passed away. What do you hope for your son now? Right. What do you hope for your son now? What's my hope for him? Yeah. I just have to leave that in the hands of God because I have no clue. Because it's way out of character for me and even my family. So I really don't know really what to say at this point. He, he had had a couple of charges over the years involving um, possession of a weapon, spent more than 100 days in jail over one. Yes. Um, that he, were there guns readily available or was this something that... Where was he getting guns? Well, I, I was getting from other friends or something because, uh, you know, I don't even own a gun, so probably got it from some other street people that he probably picked it up from, so I have no clue. Did he grow up in here in Aiken or was he yes. a high school graduate? Or what uh, guys yes, back he grew up here, right here in North Augusta. Plus, he went to live in Atlanta for about three or four years with his mother, and then he came back here to live with me. Did he graduate from North Augusta High School? Uh, no, he didn't graduate. Okay. Does he have children? Uh, yes, he has a daughter. And how old is she? Probably about four years old now. And where does she live? Uh, Washington, D.C. Okay. It's obvious from you being here that you care a lot about her. I do. My heart just really goes like out to, to this family, to all the victims' family, and I had no clue. It's way out of character for us, and it has brought a lot of great pain for all of us to just to deal with this and knowing that they're dealing with more than just what what we're dealing with right now. What's it like as a father too, to see your son grow up like that? Uh, um, I really just don't know. I really don't know what to say. I'm just all confused right now. I'm just all, just don't know what to say. What is your next step as a parent? Are you going to be looking to secure legal counsel for your son or how involved will you be moving forward with him? Well, I'll still be involved with his life. I'll still be coming to see him. I'll still be hopefully to send other ministers there to see him as well. Uh, but um, I'm hoping for the best of my son, even though he's got a mental condition. How did you find out about this today? Um, actually, we heard it on the internet and then somebody, somebody called me and told me about it that was on the news, so we turned the TV on and we saw it on the news there. But it reaction? was my car involved, so that was the thing about it is, because I had been searching for my car, and actually I told the officer last night that he took the car and he didn't bring it back, so. What was your reaction when you found out? I just went straight to God and say, I just cannot believe this. You know, after all what I've taught him, I just never thought that my family would have to deal with something like this. And will you be there for your son, I mean, throughout the, the legal proceedings that are to come? Oh, yes, I will. Have you had any interaction with these public safety officers in uh, the city of Aiken today, or is this your first uh, opportunity? No, well, I talked to an officer earlier this morning what came to my house, but uh, I haven't talked with anyone here since then. You said you're, what have you done this day? What, what is your day, the events that between 7.30, 8 o'clock and it's now. It's been horrible. Yeah. Really has. And see, my mother right now, she's about 85 years old, and she's going through a lot with me with this, so. I don't really know what else to say no more than pray and just cry about the rest. That's the only thing I can do.
Thank, Thank you, Mr. Jones. Thank you.